So this video is going to be Roadway Lingo episode 4 and this is going to discuss the uh, same topic as last uh, Roadway Lingo which is horizontal geometry and the first term that we have here is the design speed and this is usually the first um, the first thing you you need to know when designing either horizontally or vertically because the design speed controls um, most most of the design as as roadway engineers so this is a really important and you should this should be the first um, question you ask when you first get assigned to a project um, so number two is the radius of the curve and uh, this radius of curve is directly related to the design speed that's why it's so important to know the design speed and it's also related to the super elevations um, so here are some examples um, about how how they're related to design speed and super elevation how the radius is related to design speed and super elevation so if we look at B the tighter the curve the lower the design speed will be which means the smaller the radius the smaller the value of the radius the lower the design speed will be and C um, there's a point in which if the radius gets too large, then um, we no longer um, need super elevation. And I'm um, I'm thinking about doing a roadway lingo all about super elevations. So I think that'll be coming up in the next um, week. So um, just to to make to make this um, section more clear about how the radius um, the radius of the curve the design speed and the super elevation how they all interact and number three this is a term um, up station that is used commonly and all this means is looking in the in the direction of increase in stationing and um, at the end of this video i'm going to show give an example and we can look at a horizontal alignment and then i'll I'll um, show you exactly what what all these terms mean and number four we can see that we have um, either a left or a right curve and here's a little schematic here that I made and this um, is a pretty simple diagram of what of what this left and right curve means so if we're looking up station is this way and we go on our tangent and then our curve and our curve um, curves to the left then this is how our section view would look for the left curve that means the roadway is going to be sloping down to the left and that's exactly what this is saying here and the opposite is going to uh, be happening with the right curve so if we're looking um, up station which is the direction of increasing stationing is going this way and then so we're following our tangent we go on our curve um, this is a right curve then this is what the roadway um, this is the direction that the roadway will be sloping and so I think this is pretty straightforward and once you see this concept then you can look at a horizontal alignment and um, you'll you'll know exactly what the roadway um, cross slope needs to be doing in in that section um, so number five is the delta and delta is used a lot in engineering in general but I guess in in um, relative to horizontal geometry it means the the central angle of a horizontal curve and I I have used this in the past um, to locate a station on a curve and I'm gonna demonstrate how to do this manually and then um, what I do now is I just use civil AccuDraw and 
it can give me um, a station on a curve um, without me having to use this. But I think it's good to know and um, to know what exactly this means and how you can use it if you wanted to um, have radial elements um, to your alignment. And um, to lead into the next one, which is this term radial, and that just means perpendicular to the alignment in a curved section. And um, some common radial elements um, that are perpendicular to the alignment are uh, bent lines for bridges, um, which is basically, well, I have a, a bridge roadway lingo coming up too, so just be sure to, uh, be sure to watch that one and then you'll know exactly what a bent line is um, in the next video. But they're uh, sometimes um, they're radial and sometimes they're not. But if they are radial, then you know exactly what it means here. And just to reiterate, the PC, PIMPT, point of curvature, point of intersection, point of tangency. Here's the point of... Um, Curvature if we're looking at um, If we're looking up station going this way So point of curvature point of intersection and point of tendency, so let me go in my file and I can show you exactly how to calculate um, or locate a station on a curve and So here we are and as you can see if we're looking up station, then we would be looking in this direction because we have 390 here and it increases to 395 here. And here we have our PC and our PI is back here and then our PT is here. Then we have our curve and here are some of the values of this curve. And if you can see our delta is um, 18 degrees and it's a right curve which is exactly um, what it should be right because if we're looking up station then this curve to the right and if we look at the um, radius we have um, a 1340 radius so let me show you exactly how I would use um, how I would manually locate a station um, given this um, given this information from our geometry so if we go back to the um, word document I'm gonna say that I want to find the angle that will give me a length of 50 feet along my um, arc here because let's just say that I want a a bent line, like I said, at station 394.50. So if we come back here, then the only piece of information that we need is 1340 and our length, which is 50, which is what we want. And what we, um, we want a line here, which is um, what we're going to do. So we would, um, if I use my pen, we would have 180 times 50 feet because that's how much we want because we want our station at 394.50 and we're going to be starting at 394 plus 00. zero. So we have 180 times 50 um, divided by pi times the radius, which is 13, 1340. And this is going to be equal to 2.138 degrees. And I did this calculation before. That's, that's why I know this. So if we go back to our file, then we can 
um, then we can use this information that we just calculated, which is the, the angle um, that we need to travel 50 feet along the curve um, is 2.138 degrees. But first, um, and don't forget this part, is that we need to find the center of, um, of the circle here. Right, and there's there's two ways to do this. So you can do it either if you have um, smart geometry, then you can come to the horizontal geometry report, and um, the CC is the point of um, is the center of the curve. So you can either use this information here. Right, we know what northing and easting means. This is the, the X and Y's, right? So you can either get it this way, or you can get it um, if you have just normal, um, if you don't have smart geometry and you just have um, lines, then you can just click on your curve and then it has the center of it here. So if I if I um, select all here and copy this, then I can place a line. Um, and if I use F11P, then I can data point to any X and Y here. So then I'll just paste this. I'll hit enter, and here is the center of my um, of this curve so I'm going to place it along the alignment at 394 because this is going to be our start point right we want to eventually get to 394.50 so if we click here then this is exactly what we should um, expect to get for this length 1340 because um, this is what our radius value equals and this is exactly what this line represents it's one of the radiuses of this curve so then all we would need to do now to get to um, 390 94.50 is rotate this line about the center of the circle 2.13 eight degrees and I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna copy because I have it here so I'm gonna copy this value then I'm going to right click I'm gonna rotate I'm gonna come here active angle then I'm going to paste and then if you see and this will happen sometimes when you're using this too is that it's going to the left but we want it to go to the right so all we need to do is come here and put a negative and hit tab and then now we see that it goes to the right and now it's going in the direction that we want it to. So then we come to the center and we make sure we snap to the center and then we will um, left click so that it'll accept and now if I use my civil AccuDraw and a measure and then I'll press O um, so that I can reference this alignment then I can see if my line is exactly at 9450 like we like we wanted it to be and so now if you wanted to you could use this line for um, for anything you, you needed um, if you had an element that you needed at this 29450 station. So I think that's it for this video. I hope this hope this helped. Um, leave any questions or or um, or comments in the comment section. And thanks, appreciate it.